How do you turn 100,000 from dropshipping to over a million dollars in crypto while still in middle school? Like, how do you do that, bro? Uh, at the age of like seven and eight, I was like 3D printing phone cases and like selling them to my friends. And even though that was like a, a business, I would say, it was like the first time I tried something, I, like, I like getting into like that creative sense where like the sense of you create a whole company and you actually provide utility and create something. Even though dropshipping is like providing utility per se, I like the sense that I accomplished something, you know? Like early 2018, I think I got Bitcoin around like the 2000 to price level and I got Ethereum maybe like 200, $300. And I was playing Fortnite at that age too. I do believe the most successful entrepreneurs are the ones that funnel their funds from previous business into new business. Like, so for me, I like that mindset. I genuinely believe it. if you have internet access, you can become successful. I feel like my biggest piece of advice is of course perseverance, but that's more generic. The learning stage is, you know, key. A lot of people think they can learn, you know, uh, in-depth from the top from TikTok or like YouTube Shorts. But no, I feel like you need long-form content and articles that really research a topic. And those, that's like the knowledge stage. And then there's the experience stage where you try starting your business. But that's the one thing. A lot of people are so close to success, but they stop because on their first business, they give up. I feel like it depends on how broke you are. If you generally don't have any cash, then still honestly like freelancing jobs are the best. Thank you so much, Jordan, once again. Uh, remember everyone to subscribe to Jordan. He has the most informative content on YouTube I've seen by a long shot. So if you're just trying to hustle and trying to make it in life, I think Jordan is the first stop to go.